All right, Carson and Jill, thank you. Rick Springfield is known and loved for his hit song, Jesse's Girl, and his role as Dr. Noah Drake on General Hospital back in the day. Well, now he is on the big screen, starring as Meryl Streep's love interest and lead guitarist in the new movie, Ricky and the Flash. Take a look. That's why you're their mom. That's why I'm my kid's dad. I love my kids so much. Don't you? Yeah. So you want to just be friends? <laughs> Rick Springfield, good morning to hey, you. How are you. I should just make clear that you are not the Ricky in the Ricky in the I Flash know, in this it's, movie. It's, it's a weird confusion. No, I'm not. The, she's Ricky. You're Greg I'm in Greg, the movie. Yeah, yeah. You're Greg the guitarist. Mm -hmm. Greg the cute, adorable, most likable person in this movie. Yeah, guitarist. Yeah, he's the kind of the, the the rock, which is really weird because it's a lot of. You know, the, the people are very uh, damaged and, you know, trying to make things work. And uh, Greg is actually probably the sanest of the all. <laughs> he, I don't know how you'll take this, but I actually watched half the movie before I realized it was you. And I was like, oh, I like that guitar player. And he's so nice. And he's cute. And then I'm like, oh, my God, it's Rick Springfield. My wife said she likes Greg more than she likes me. So. <laughs> he's a good character. Yeah. But and this got to be a little bit intimidating. I mean, you are obviously a, an accomplished musician, an accomplished actor, but starring against Meryl Streep is like not a small thing. No, no, there was definitely had to get past the oh my god, it's Meryl Streep moment, you know, <laughs> yeah. because that doesn't work for, as an actor. I mean, you have to get past that. And honestly, uh, most actors have that that take. I mean, I saw something with. Uh, uh, another actor was going to do a movie with her, and he's just freaking, you know, well known guy. He said, I'm freaking out. I'm going to be working with Meryl Streep. And it did. But she's very gracious and she's very open and, and, and understands what, you know, that and understands you need to get to the character to make it work. I can't have, oh my God, it's Meryl Streep happening in my eyes while I'm working with her. Right, right. Won't exactly work for the scenes. No. There were even some love scenes, so the studio didn't give us any clips of those. But how really? The, it, no, unfortunately not. Uh -huh. We'll have to see the movie, but that must have been kind of fun. Yeah, well, you know, I mean, but they, they, Jonathan Demme, our amazing director, put it, put them kind of more later on, so there wasn't like walking in and lip locking, you know. <laughs> and uh, you, you work on the relationship uh, uh, on and off screen, so, uh, and it was, it was great. I mean, she's a full, complete, consummate actor, and. Uh, and I'm not going to kiss and tell. Okay. As the story goes, Jonathan Demi reached out to have you come and audition for the role, and you weren't all that excited to come do that at first. You didn't really want to do it. Well, no, I was very excited, but I, I, they wanted to see me the next day. I was on the East Coast. I was playing, do, uh, touring, and uh, and they wanted to see me the next day. And I said, there's no way I'm going to prepare, be able to prepare a decent scene, and I don't want to look like an idiot in front of Jonathan Demi, so I'm not going to go. And uh, my pit bull of the PR girl, Ken Jackworth, <laughs> said, you get your ass on that plane and you go do that audition. She cracked that whip. By the way, he said you had the role in 60 seconds. Yeah, I know. I wish I'd known that. It took him like two weeks to tell me. And I was going, oh, my God, I'm never going to get this. And, you, you, know. you, by the way, you've been married thir what, 30 years, 30 35 years. Yeah, yeah. years. Amazing. You to different women, but, you know, yeah. <laughs> no, to the same lovely woman, oh, Barbara. Yes. And you have two adorable sons. Yep. I heard one of them was actually a PA on this movie. Yeah, the, so he helped uh, out. my son there, Josh, was a PA on the movie. And actually, when we went and saw the premiere, you know, with seeing me and everything like that, and then Josh's name came up, we all went, yeah! I also heard you got a, or did he get a talking to, or someone got a talking to on the set after you guys would greet yeah, each other? Yeah, yeah, because I'm a very, you know, I'm a very hands-on dad, and he, he, Josh, he didn't tell anyone that I was his dad. And when we were doing the two-week rehearsal before, where we get in the band together with Meryl and the band, I'd come in every morning and I'd kiss him and hug him and then go to work. And once, after a couple of mornings of that security guy came up to me and said. Dude, what are you doing with Rick Springfield? Leave the actors alone. Don't do that. You know, you thought there was something like weird going on. And even then, Joshy didn't say, oh, he's my dad. He just said, oh, okay. <laughs> Good guy. He sounds like a great one. He's a, he's a doll. The movie's really fun, Rick Springfield. It's great to see you. Thank, Thank you, you for being here. Really appreciate it. Hello, Today fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.